by the end of this video you will learn how to solve range involving composite function at times known as function composition in this question given two functions we are to find the range of g composite f among many types of questions in domain and range seen in the exam and when we are done with this question we are going to choose from the options to solve g composite f step number one g is in the front of the composition hence write out the function of g of x next step number two consider the function behind the composition and here it is absolute value of x step number three any position you see x in g of x replace it with the absolute value hence we have just obtained g of f which is g composite f step number four consider the number line and all the values towards negative infinity and all the positive numbers towards positive infinity into g composite f for the value of x including zero you can see that the presence of absolute value or modulus function will never allow negative absolute value rejects negatives that is if you put minus one here the absolute value will return it to one if you put minus two absolute value will return it to two if you put minus three the absolute value will return it to three if you put minus seven the absolute value will return it to seven it will keep rejecting the negative but if you input zero here for x it will return zero and zero multiplied by two will return zero and here you're going to have minus three you can see that the presence of absolute value will not allow any number to be negative and you can see that the range keep increasing towards positive infinity and at x equal to zero the least range we can get is minus three and as the domain increases or decreases on either side the absolute value we keep tending all the range which is continuous however one of the range answers is minus three which is inclusive and you can see from number line that the absolute value will not allow any number less than zero which is the domain and when the domain is zero we are going to get the range to be minus three which is the least range we are going to obtain from this function and the presence of the absolute value will tend every range towards positive infinity which is always open and our final answer is d you can check out for other topics in precalculus and you can locate other videos by following the link on the screen i will see you in the next video.